are they dupes? Are either one of them even worth your money to even consider them as a dupe? Stay tuned and we'll find out. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Katisha Marie. Last month for my monthly foundation review, I did the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation. If you haven't seen that review, I will link it down below and in the eye. But I thought to myself, this really reminds me of something. This right here. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour, well up to 24 hour fresh wear. So today we are going to be comparing both of these. I'm going to do one side with the Bear Pro, one side with the L'Oreal so we can take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and shake these both. We're going to start with the Bear Pro. I am going to put both of them on with a brush, separate brushes though, but I will be using the same brush type that makes sense both of these are going to be the elf ultimate blending brush both of them are clean but just very stained because they've been used forever so just some comparisons right off the bat they are both glass they have um, pumps they're dirty because they're used um, but both have black pumps on them they both come with one fluid ounce um, now this one's going to be more of the higher end Ulta Sephora Bare Minerals. This one's going to be available at drugstores, the drugstore site of Ulta, uh, L'Oreal.com, of course. For primer today, I have used the Bare Minerals Matte and Poreless Face Primer. So we're going to go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro on this side. I want to pump it is on the brush. Now the cleanser and the Bare Mineral Bare Pro are, it's a good for skin, high performance formula that blurs pores and imperfections while improving the appearance of skin texture over time. It has a 24 hour wear in a range of natural matte finish shade, shades. It delivers lightweight, oil-free, photo-friendly, full coverage. Some of the benefits are that it's oil-free, non-acnegenic, non-comatogenic, which means it won't clog pores, and it's makeup so pure you can sleep on it. It has a price of $35, and it comes in 34 shades. There are only four shades that are darker than me. So this is what it looks like on this side. Really nice, even coverage, covering up most of my dark spots. Really, really like this one. I have been loving this foundation. On this side, we're gonna go in with this L'Oreal Infallible. We're gonna take one pump of this, put it on another brush. The claims for the L'Oreal are that it provides medium to full buildable coverage that lasts all day and allows the skin to breathe. The formula's three oil observers resist water, sweat, and transfer. Non-commodogenic and formulated with SPF, color stays true and blends in evenly. The benefits are that it's up to 24 hour fresh staying power, long lasting foundation with their most lightweight breathable texture, waterproof transfer resistant and sweat resistant foundation, medium to full buildable coverage foundation with a natural finish. The price range on the L'Oreal is $11.48 to about $14.99. They have 40 shades, eight of them are darker than me and I am in the shade Hazelnut in this one. So there is a little bit of an undertone change or difference, I should say, in them. This one is a little bit more warm. This one's a little bit more like warm neutral. But as you can see, they look the exact same on the skin. They feel the exact same on the skin. They don't have a scent to them whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be back. Since it's all about the foundation today, we're going to keep it real low key and not do too much at all. All right, so I've got everything on my face. This is what it is looking like. Everything blended out really well, of course. Um, I did powder my face because I do have oily skin, but I didn't put on any blush or highlight. That is literally the foundation that is coming through on both of these sides. I did just use bronzer, put a little bit of that through the crease, some mascara, no liner, a little bit of brow, and then really lip liner and um, a pink Oh, what is this? A uh, soft matte lip cream from NYX right 
in the center and that was it I did set my face of course again with uh, having oily skin so right now it is about 8 o'clock a.m. I will wear this all through my work day and come to you at the end of the day to determine whether or not these are dupes if you can forego this one and get this one all right guys so it's the end of the day I have worn this for a full eight hours put this on right at roughly eight o'clock this morning it's right after five here's a close-up of what it's looking like on both sides as you can see my oils have shown through today I did blot uh, once this afternoon on both sides but it's both very even on both sides there's a little bit of rubbing away uh, closer to like the neckline but nowhere else they both are glowy because of my oils I would say an even amount so when it comes to these two being dupes I would say absolutely they look the same they are wearing the same they are quote unquote fading the same my oils are shining through the same I don't feel like any spot is really any more oily than the other maybe right here just a little bit but not much not anything to you know call home about so I would say that if you uh, are looking for something much more budget friendly this is $35 this at the most is $15 to go for this one also it has that shade range advantage this one only has four shades deeper than me and I'm in uh, chai 26 this one has eight shades deeper than me and I'm in 510 hazelnut so the availability of this for darker and deeper skin tones is much more accessible than this one these are made for uh, or marketed for much fairer skin which you know is okay they know who they want to market but we are also in 2021 so we need to be trying to include everyone not to go on a rant but it's 2021 we should be there so yeah i would say this one totally do i love this one yes but they are dupes do not go out and buy this one because you can totally buy this one so that's going to be the end of this video let me know your thoughts comments down below please support my channel by sharing this and leaving a comment that helps me to grow that helps me to get out there a lot more um, so yeah make sure that you do that and make sure that you're also subscribed i I'm planning on doing an updates video soon so you want to make sure that you're subscribed and to hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any videos any updates any tips tricks anything like that i love you guys and i will see you next time